Good morning. Um, this morning we're talking about Maurice Blondel. Fascinating fellow. Now, you wouldn't think a philosopher would be a person that would really alter life too much. Now, philosophers think about different ways to think, uh, basically. And um, surprisingly, um, I may mean not surprisingly, most of us get into one type of thinking and we stay with that and we're fixed in that. And institutions such as the church get fixed in it. Um, and this is where Maurice has an incredible impact. He is born in Dijon, France in 1861. Uh, most of his family had gone into the legal profession, but for whatever reason, he decided very young on that he wanted to go into philosophy. Um, and so he got uh, admitted into the um, Maltre de Confrance at Lyon, and uh, there he studied. And, um, excuse me, he was at the École Normale Supérieure of Paris. Uh, there he studied, and he um, was studying the way we think and the way you know, like all philosophers would do. But he came to propose something, and I'll just read the quote that he said. I propose to study action because it seems to me that the gospel attributes to action alone the power to manifest love and to attain God. Action is the abundance of the heart. Isn't that fascinating? Now, most um, philosophers get into thinking and like Descartes, I think, therefore I am. Uh, that's great, but he's saying, wait a second now, uh, we got to look at, at exactly what people do, and by that way, we understand them. So, um, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of implications to this. Um, it's kind of like they thought um, that all of, like, religion would come from the outside and then come in. He said, no, no, it's already in the inside. It's connected to the way we think. So uh, one of the things, he wrote a book as a part of his doctoral thesis called Lie Action. And as a result of this, uh, the university where he is studying, where normally you would be able to become a professor, he was not made a professor there. Uh, and the reason being is the fact that this, his conclusions took him to a very Christian uh, approach to what general philosophers would do is just to think, oh, it's all free earth and science was very popular and the modernistic uh, type of thinking. And so uh, what he looked at is that um, actions are the implicit reference to the absolute and the infinite reality. And he says, we also all are just faced with a choice. And the choice is whether to open ourselves up to the infinite or to just close in on ourselves. Now, this really has major implications. What it means is that Christianity doesn't deal with outside messages coming to us, a whole series of things we need to memorize. But the good news resonates with the meaning of our deepest experience. Isn't that interesting? That the way we understand and, and act is connected with just something very deep within us. And this has really far-reaching um, implications. Uh, so it means that the religion was not a set of divine truths that are just handed to us and, oh, we get them, we memorize them, or we know them, and, hey, therefore I believe, so, okay, I'm all saved. No, he's looking at much more as a choice as to how we act. Um, so he's looking at the fact that there, that grace and salvation, the way we get saved, the way we go from where we are to where we want to be, uh, especially as it relates to heaven, is all connected to our actions. That's how we really talk. Um, what's interesting about his way of thinking, and it put a, there was a type of thing called scholastic thinking, which took after St. Thomas Aquinas, who kind of made some major revelations from Aristotle's type of philosophy. Um, but uh, the fact is, um, this was a whole new way of looking at reality. And some of the major theologians that went into Vatican II, an influence on what a remarkable uh, a revelation or a remarkable change and development in our church has been, um, most of them uh, were highly influenced by Blondel. Now, there was a modernist movement at this time, and so some people got mistaken and thought he was a part of it. He really wasn't. He wasn't a clergyman, so he wasn't really under the authority of the church at all, but, but his... Um, his main message was well accepted in the church. 
1945, he got a letter from Pope Pius XII congratulating him on his physical philosophical work in which he said, and I quote uh, the Pope here, it says, you have carried on with a talent equaled only by your faith. Now he went to mass every day that his health allowed. He uh, um, went blind um, in 1927. And so he ended his uh, uh, work as a professor, but he continued to write and he actually put out 10 to more volumes over the next 20 years. Um, at his funeral, uh, the Archbishop of Aix, and I'm not sure where Aix is, but I assume it's in France, said, it is in seeing Maurice Blondel that I have understood what it means to be in the church. What it means to be in the church is something of action. It's not a matter of thinking. It's not a matter of like zenning. It's a matter of making that choice to be in touch with the infinite, the divine, the Christ, the Holy Spirit within us. Huh. Well, that's a pretty good connection to have and a pretty good way to start our day. May you have a blessed day. Thank you.